Today's video, part one in a special three-part series on turning your life around once and for all, and finally manifesting all those things in your life that you've wanted for so long. This is the law of attraction like you've never heard it before. Hey, it's Andrew, otherwise known as the guy who wrote the last Law of Attraction book you'll ever need to read. Coming at you with a very special video here. In fact, it's part one in a very special three-part series on turning your life around once and for all, using the Law of Attraction, and finally manifesting all those things that are most important to you. Before diving into today's first part, obviously I wanna do the whole YouTube thing and invite you to please like this video if you've been enjoying this content thus far. And of course, make sure you are subscribed to the channel and that you've hit that bell notification so that you don't miss any future videos, especially considering that there's a part two and a part three to today's video. And we wanna make sure that you don't miss those or any ones after that. Also stating the obvious, you know, most of my videos, in fact, probably all of them, are heavily influenced and inspired by my book, The Last Law of Attraction book you'll ever need to read. But you will notice in particular, if you have read the book, that today's video is really heavily influenced and really heavily inspired by content in this book. You will recognize it, and I hope that it's just as powerful and just as impactful in video format for you. With that said, let's dive straight into it. You know, if this is a three-part series or maybe even a three-step process, what is step one in finally turning your life around once and for all? Well, it's kind of obvious once you hear it. Step one is deciding what you want. And I mean for real, what you truly, actually, really want. And I don't mean just thinking about it and say, oh, hey, that would be nice. I mean pulling out a piece of paper or firing up your keyboard and writing or typing it out. Writing it down, typing it out, putting it down in front of you so that you can read it on a regular basis, so that it's physically there in front of you every single day, taking that real definitive step of actually describing and articulating everything to the letter, to the very last detail, to whatever level you are comfortable specifying it. But before you actually put pen to paper or start typing on that keyboard, depending on your preference, there's one very important, very vital question you need to ask yourself first. And that question is, if you knew that nothing could stop you and that failure was absolutely impossible, what would you want? This is the question you need to ask yourself. This is the question that you need floating in your mind to really free yourself of any limits or restrictions or anything else that you otherwise would have been putting in your own way. We wanna throw away the obstacles. We don't wanna worry about how or when what you want is gonna happen. All we wanna do is be specific and be exact to what we actually want without worrying about whether it's gonna happen, without worrying about how it's gonna happen, without worrying about any of those details. That's for later. Right now, this is just about getting crystal clear with yourself and being willing to be crystal clear and honest with yourself about what you really want. Not what other people want for you, not what you think society thinks you should want for you, but what you really truly want. And I'll say this right now, as long as what you want is not hurting anybody else in any way, there is nothing wrong with anything that you could possibly want. You are not being selfish. You are not being a bad person. You are not being negative in any way by wanting something specific to you. As long as you are actually honoring yourself and saying, this is what I want and I'm okay with it, that's the state of mind that you wanna be in. That's the place energetically and psychologically that you wanna be in for this. This is really important because you might not realize it, but when you're putting down what you want, in the way that I'm about to describe for you, you are literally constructing the blueprint that the universe is gonna to use to make what you want come into being, to attract and magnify and vibrate what you want until it's actually in your three-dimensional space, until you're actually living it and experiencing it and having it. It's gonna really work that powerfully. So make sure that you choose the blueprint for the thing that you're really gonna be satisfied with, for the thing that's really gonna fulfill you and make you happy in your life. Now, with that said, it's tempting right now to put a lot of unnecessary pressure on yourself as if you've got to do this perfectly now. And no, you don't have to do it perfectly. You just have to do it honestly. It's okay if the details aren't exactly precise or exactly perfect, as long as they feel good to you in the moment. As long as you can say, hey, you know what? That works for me. That's good. I have a good feeling about this. That is your clue that you're doing this the right way. The only reason I'm being overly dramatic and making sure that you're really saying letting go of the limitations and letting go of the restrictions is because I don't want anything stifling you as you go in that creative process of deciding what you would really enjoy in your life, what would really make you fulfilled and really genuinely authentically happy. So don't worry about perfection and actually understand that if you ever find something that you write down that later on you're not happy with, you can just redo your list. 
you can just redo that part. You could take that part out, you could put something else in. It really is that simple. As long as it feels good in the moment, you are good. And if you change your mind, that is always also okay. In fact, when you think about it, you should be expecting your list to change over time anyway, because as you begin to get new things, your perspective is gonna change. And even though I'm saying let go of the limitations right now, your idea of what's possible in your life, that is also gonna change for you. So go nuts with this. Write down five things or 10 things or 20 things or 100 things, whatever you want, and just understand that a month from now, you might wanna redo that list and it'll have a few tweaks in it. That's a normal part of this process as you begin to manifest what you want. But go nuts, be ambitious, put whatever you want down knowing that it's okay. It could be as short a list as you want, it could be as big a list as you want. I would highly recommend putting down 10 or 20 things at least if you can think of them, but also not stifling yourself and feeling free to just write thing after thing after thing after thing and make your list really huge, really big, just to put it out on paper, just so that you could look at it and read it and take a nice deep breath and say, yeah, that works. That works for me, I'm good with that. I invite and I welcome that. So even though I just stated that you don't have to worry about being perfect here, I still know that people, you know, they find ways of stopping themselves and worrying about doing it perfectly. They wanna know what are the exact steps? What's the exact phrasing? How do I do this to the letter to make sure that I'm not doing it wrong, to make sure that I'm not messing myself up? And what I'm gonna do in response to that is I'm gonna give you one or two ways that you can do this. So you can feel free to follow my instructions to the letter or you can feel free to phrase it in your own way, whichever way works for you. Again, as long as you feel good, you're not doing this wrong. So for example, you've got that piece of paper in front of you and you're about to write down you want, but you're wondering, what do you name that piece of paper? How do you title your list? And you don't have to title it, but if you want to, one possible option is putting the statement, I gratefully welcome all positive experiences and outcomes in my life, including at the top of the page. You can start it off with that and then anything you write down, anything you list will just fit into that statement. It'll fit into that idea. Just putting that down on the top of the paper and knowing, okay, whatever I put down now, it's in harmony with that. You could also just put universal order form or you can put, I gratefully accept the following. You can put whatever works for you, whatever works in terms of wording of how you would normally state it, that's how you can go about this. But with that said, once you've titled that paper, if you have titled that paper, or you have titled that document on your computer, once you've done that, make sure that when you're putting the items down on your list that you're doing it in the present tense. Don't say thank you for the soulmate that I'm going to meet. Say something like, thank you for my soulmate, or I'm so grateful to have my soulmate. I'm so grateful to be with my soulmate. You see how it works that way? You don't say, I'm so grateful or I'm happy for the money that I'm going to receive. You're saying, thank you for the money, for all the money that I continue to receive. I'm so happy and grateful for that. And notice, by the way, I'm beginning each sentence in a certain way. You can say, I'm so happy and grateful for. You can say, I appreciate. You could say, thank you for. Or you could just put the thing down flat out. You know, you can put that, you know, remember that top thing, I gratefully welcome all positive experiences and outcomes in my life, including, and you can say all the money I'm receiving, or you could put a specific amount. You can say my soulmate, my job promotion, my new career, the success of my business. You can be really specific and really granular. You can be really long-winded, whatever you wanna do, whatever phrasing actually feels good as you're putting it out there, as you're saying, you know what? No limits, no restrictions. I know that failure is impossible. I know I will make this work in harmony and in cooperation with the universe. I know I'm gonna handle the parts that I'm responsible for, and for the parts that I'm not in control of, I know the universe is gonna take care of for me. Therefore, I'm phrasing this in any way that actually feels good to me. Finally, if you're really getting in the mode of this, I've got an optional step three that you don't have to do, but it is fun to do if you're really taking your time with this and you wanna add just a little boost of gratitude, a little pinch of happiness and anticipation or whatever else, and that's putting the reason why you want it on the tail end of whatever you write down. So for example, rather than just saying, I'm grateful for my new promotion at work, you can say, I'm grateful for my new promotion at work because of the higher salary and the corner office and the fact that I have more autonomy in what I'm doing and the closer relationship I'm having with the higher ups or whatever it might be. You can actually list the reasons. You put because and then you list the reasons that you're grateful for that thing, knowing that it's on the way. So your list can be very wordy or not so wordy at all. Again, there are no limits, no restrictions, as long as you feel good. But I did wanna give you that optional way of feeling more gratitude if you wanted to try that out when you're making your list. Finally, in regard to this really important first step here, is there any way you can do it wrong? Well, again, as long as you're feeling good, you're not doing it wrong. In fact, the only way of doing it wrong is by not doing it. So 
give yourself this gift. Give yourself this opportunity, if you have never have before, of just sitting down, acknowledging that there is more possible than you've ever realized before, and saying, you know what? In case that is true, in case that the universe can really give me what I want, I am not gonna hold back. I'm gonna put down everything that I want on my list there. I'm gonna let it make me feel good. I'm gonna let it fill me with confidence and enthusiasm and vigor for life and gratitude, and I'm gonna run with this. You wanna give yourself that gift. You wanna do that for yourself. So that's what we want here. That is step one to turning around your life once and for all. It's not just getting clarity with what you want, but it's putting it down on paper or on your keyboard, on your computer. It's putting it down in a tangible way that you can read off whenever you want, that you can reference, that you can say, okay, I'm crystallizing this. I'm planting my flag and I'm saying, yes, this is mine. I am inviting this. I am welcoming this. I am manifesting this and I'm doing so in harmony with the universe, with universal laws, with the way everything works around me energetically, vibrationally, physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, on all levels. I am in on this all the way. And now that you know this, I would absolutely love to hear from you. Do me a favor, comment below. You know a lot of other people are watching. You know a lot of other people want to be inspired and they want to take your example and use that as a leveraging point for them to try this out. So comment below with one thing that you're going to be putting on your list. One thing that you're grateful for the universe bringing to you. And even feel free to give the reason why. Put something down positive, something that's gonna inspire others, and something that's gonna get you in the mode of doing this right now so that you can finally engage in this process. And any comment that you put down, any positive comment, that's gonna get you entered into this month's contest where one lucky winner will walk away with Gravity of the Cosmos, my advanced level full immersion guided program for manifesting your every desire through the law of attraction. This is the program I'm gonna take you through 90 straight days of manifesting methods in only a few minutes a day so that you don't have to worry or wonder about what method to do or when to do it and you can just sit back, relax and follow along as I guide you through three full months of massive vibrational momentum toward manifesting that light that you've always wanted. And if you want a free test drive of the program, my book, The Last Law of Attraction book you'll ever need to read, has a link to special bonuses, one of which includes the first few days of Gravity of the Cosmos free of charge, so you can try it before you buy it. And of course, you can very easily check my book out by going to lastlawofattractionbook.com, which will auto forward to the Amazon listing, where you can get it in Kindle or paperback or audiobook if you prefer, and the audiobook is also available on Audible and Apple Books. And speaking of my book, I want to take a quick minute out here and thank one of my awesome readers who recently left some positive feedback on the book. So today's Spotlight Feedback, a five-star review left by T-Rex with the subject heading Power Up, left on May 26, 2021, and it reads, An excellent, simplistic, and powerful reminder. It kick-started my life when I felt that I'd lost my way. Highly recommend this book for beginners or seasoned manifestors who want to power up their techniques. Wow, T-Rex, whoever you are, thank you so, so much. I can't begin to tell you how much I appreciate that feedback. And most importantly, that you got the book and that you're using the content. Thank you so much. I truly appreciate you. And that's a wrap on part one of this special three-part series on turning your life around. The next video will, of course, be part two, where I will cover another vital, yet easy and simple important step on how to turn your life around once and for all using the law of attraction so that you can finally manifest all those things that are most important to you. So thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Make sure you're subscribed and you hit the bell notification and be back next time for part two. I will look forward to seeing you then.